refreshing, just a little something different with an extra kick to it. You know, right. oftentimes when we're tailgating, um, a lot of people are always wondering, well, what do you have to make? What's something good? As a certified bartender, <laughs> I'm always mixing up all kinds of little goodies while we're at tailgate, while we're at someone's home, but this is a nice, light, and refreshing something that you can have actually year-round. Cream cheese all the way through because that's also along with the eggs going to serve as a coating to kind of hold it together. You know how uh, old school we use uh, white bread and crackers for our Miko? Because that's what makes it good. That's the same thing that the cream cheese is actually doing in here. It's also going to give it a nice rich texture for a nice little bite. Okay? Mm -hmm. Having something to drink and then kind of having something for the family to snack on. You ever notice how you're cooking and people keep coming up and asking you the same thing? When dinner gonna be ready? When dinner gonna be ready? You almost done? We ain't gonna have something for us to have. It's always great to have you a handy dandy uh, charcuterie board somewhere nearby so that they can just have them a few little munchies from time to time. Uh, you have the actual boards. You can create something with any of your glassware or stemware. Uh, for example, here I have some carrots, some uh, Parmesan garlic uh, pretzel crisps. I have some prosciutto. I have some um, buffalo bourbon, you know, uh, cheddar. We have Asiago, some more grapes, some strawberries, and kettle crisp. Another really great, just a nice little cake, something nice, sit out on the patio. Have your drink, toast it up. A little something, something brought to you by Captain J. Take your pan. You can take a grilling pan. This is also something that is beyond delicious outside on the grill to get those great grill marks on your uh, French baguette. Absolutely delicious. It'll also have the smokiness from the grill. All right. I'm cutting quite a few slices and get ready trying to put together our cream cheese mixes. Now I have two cream cheese mix uh, ideas for you. I have one that's a little hearty, semi-sweet, and then I have something that is truly a nice little light dip.